This morning, college football is mourning one of its greatest coaches, Joe Paterno, died Sunday morning, less than three months after his record-setting career at Penn State University came to a sudden and embarrassing end. The Philadelphia Inquirer, Pennsylvania's largest newspaper, headlines, Lion at Rest. Chief Investigative Correspondent Armin Kintayan is at Penn State. Good morning, Charlie. Even though Joe Paterno lost his job two months before succumbing to lung cancer, for thousands of men and women he inspired both on and off the field, it was like he never left. It was the kind of respect that would have made Joe Paterno proud, a candlelight processional full of dignity and grace. Part of an outpouring of grief expressed in flowers and footballs, some mourners silent, some not. He's really the only person that gave me an opportunity to play football, and, uh, and I'll never forget him for that. Paterno's death on Sunday morning of lung cancer closed one chapter of an iconic life, but certainly not the book. In a statement, the Board of Trustees and University President Rodney Erickson said, we grieve for the loss of Joe Paterno, a great man who made us a greater university. We are considering appropriate ways to honor the great life and legacy of Joe Paterno. In fact, Penn State now faces a delicate dance how to pay tribute to the winningest coach in the history of major college football. The same man had fired in November after 46 seasons in the wake of a child abuse sex scandal involving former assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. Joe Paterno made a huge mistake that a lot of people will never ever forgive him for. But he did a lot of things that a lot of people will remember him very fondly for. And a lot of people feel like they should honor him for it. In his final interview with the Washington Post just days before he died, Paterno said he wished he had done more than just notify his bosses after learning of an alleged sexual assault by Sandusky of a young boy in 2002. Because I didn't know, you know, I had never had to deal with something like that. I didn't feel I didn't feel. None of that seemed to matter Sunday during a day-long vigil at Paterno's statue or during the candlelight march. What did matter was remembering a Brooklyn-born coach who majored in English at Brown before authoring his so-called grand experiment, success with honor, on and off the football field. A coach, teacher, and humanitarian who donated more than $4 million to his beloved school while impacting countless lives. Funeral arrangements are still pending, but a source close to the Paterno family tells CBS News that right up into the end, Paterno expressed no bitterness, only his undying love for both his family and the university. Charlie. Thank you very much.